Cartesian Theist. I wanted to reply to this video because it's a topic that isn't discussed much. This video is more about the implications of atheism rather than on the question of gods. It also starts with a premise that is correct and is an important idea to understand. It's really just the conclusion you are mistaken about. The main idea this is based on is that without a god there can be no objective purpose or meaning to life. Any sort of purpose or meaning can only come from an intentionality, so without some sort of god there can be no inherent meaning or purpose to life. My statement here, as well as many of the quotes in your video, are made in the context of the question of the existence of gods. So they only refer to an externally assigned meaning or purpose, which would come from such beings. However, one can assign meaning and purpose to their own life. Everyone has their own intentionality which can give meaning or purpose to things. So an atheist only lacks an externally assigned meaning but can still have a meaning that is self-assigned. So atheists do not lack meaning or purpose in their lives because that comes from their own values. Their lives need only necessarily be lacking in an externally imposed meaning. In fact, without our own intentionality being able to assign meaning and purpose, we would not be able to conceive of such things being assigned by gods. Without some sort of direct access to the mind of gods, we can only understand them based on a similarity to our own. We have postulated these beings with intentions and the ability to assign meaning and purpose, just as we are able to do, as meaning and purpose is inherent to intentionality. So, in this way, the theist is assigning their own meaning and purpose. They are just assigning the one they believe their deity wants them to have. So without direct access to God, you must assign this meaning yourself based on the values of the religion you have been taught. So to summarize, we can't conceive of the external intentionality of a God with its inherent meaning and purpose without having our own as a point of reference. We also must assign any meaning or purpose ourselves, even if that meaning or purpose is believed to come from a supernatural being. So the only difference here between the theist and the atheist is what they believe the source of their meaning and purpose is.